Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Of all the preachers who ever lived, Charles Haddon Spurgeon was among the most colorful and, for that matter, among the most prolific and among the most controversial and among the most eloquent. And it seems timeless in his work. As you can see, in my opinion, if not the greatest preacher in the history of the church, certainly among the top ten. Anytime the subject of preaching arises, either in a classroom or among a group of pastors, the name Spurgeon will soon surface. He was a man who, it seems, cut new swaths, and to this day, it seems as though he has no peer. During his 38 years at the Metropolitan Tabernacle, you see, they had to build a new building after five years when Spurgeon had been there, so it was renamed the, the uh, a Tabernacle, the Metropolitan Tabernacle. During those um, 38 years, he was responsible for the swelling of the membership of the church to 14,692. Remarkable, remarkable man. A great deal of criticism was leveled against him. It seems as though he, like Luther, thrived in the storm. He was a man whom we might call unflappable. Uh, he was criticized for two things in his private life and many things in his public life. The two things in his private life were curious. First, he loved a good cigar. And his brothers in the family of God simply could not tolerate such a thought and he said, when I take this to an extreme, then I will stop. Someone asked, what is an extreme? He said, two cigars at one time. <laughs> the other private criticism came against him and his wife, who, out of their own funds, enjoyed an extremely large home on a massive amount of acreage. And when the American press came and exaggerated the report of the home, it infuriated Spurgeon. And again, he was known for his controversy, and that went on for some time. His lovely home was known as Westwood. And uh, I have in my study one of my prized possessions, a full book of the Spurgeon home at Westwood and his enormous library, as he was a man who not only read widely, but quoted widely in his sermons, and even that brought an enormous amount of criticism against him. Uh, I think if Charles Haddon Spurgeon lived today, most churches would not call him to be the pastor of that church. They couldn't get over his style. Uh, and I think if most of us knew in depth the story behind the tabernacle, most pastors would not want to be the preacher of that place. It's amazing what a hundred years history will do to enlarge our vision of a church or of a man. The uh, importance of two-way tolerance is, uh, is, is terribly significant. A pastor needs to be very tolerant of the people he is, he is serving. And the people who are being served by the minister need to be very tolerant of him. We need a lot of wobble room. We need to give people room to be themselves. Reminds me of one of my favorite quotes. It comes from, a, from the country. Be who you is. Because if you ain't who you is, then you is who you ain't. And I have found that people who try to be who they ain't are really very frustrated people. God has graciously granted us permission to be free and to enjoy life. And yet, we have difficulty allowing others to enjoy this freedom. We create lists of do's and don'ts for them to follow. Grace is letting people be and giving them room to be themselves. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. That's lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Lifetrack presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Hope Beyond Religion, 
a job description for Shepherds, was copyrighted in 1989, and this life track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.